it all shiny? It's super shiny. Hi guys, today I just wanted to share with you Riley's Montessori inspired working kitchen. Um, Riley has had her kitchen set up like this for a couple months now and it's been working out really well for us. Um, so basically what I mean by working kitchen is, well it's kind of a hybrid, so it's her play kitchen, but I've kind of set it up in a way where she can actually do real life things in it. So this is the play kitchen she already had. I've not done anything to it to make it well, I've not modified it in any way permanent, basically. So when I don't want it like this anymore, I can just use it as a play kitchen again. But um, it's just little things that I've done to make it a bit more usable. So here she's got a little, you can see her playing back there, how cute. Um, and you can see my really messy living room. <laughs> um, here she's just got um, a little sink set up with just some storage where she's got plates. I'll show you that in a second. And all I've done here is she's got like a bowl that could take real water. So I've just put one of these little um, drinks dispensers next to it so that the water goes right into the bowl. And she's got a little filled up pump of washing up soap. And this was just like an old hand soap bottle. So it's nothing fancy. I've not really put a lot of money into it. And I've just put the whole thing on a waterproof tray, a serving tray. So I don't have to worry about the wood so much. The wood does get wet and it's not a big deal. I just um, remove everything and let it air dry and it goes back to normal. It doesn't do anything funky to the wood, so that's no big deal. Um, so underneath the kitchen sink, she's got, um, this is more play stuff in here. So she's just got some like play washing up stuff because she loves to just wash up her dishes just for fun. But then on this side, she's got stuff that she'll use if she's really washing up. So she's, she uses these little cloths to actually wash up the dishes and the bigger ones to, um, it's still a small cloth, but that's the size that she'll use to dry up. So it's like better sized for her. I also have one of those hanging right next to the sink area, just on that doorknob of the closet. So I'm just kind of making use of what we already have. Um, she's just got a little dish pan brush down here. And then this is actually the, um, the Play Kitchen's sink tap. But I've just removed that so that it's not in the way of the real water. <laughs> Um, on this side, she, we actually just keep her toothpaste and her toothbrush in here normally because we tend to brush her teeth downstairs. And then down here, she's got access to her plates, bowls, cups, a little colander if she wants to wash out some fruit or anything. Um, in that corner, we've got a cleaning set by Melissa and Doug. And this is nice because the quality of this is, it's actually usable basically. So even though it is sold as a toy, um, it does actually do some real cleaning. So she's got a little broom, a little duster. We don't use that mop. We actually do have like a little toy mop, if I can get it out. She uses this toy mop just because this is the style mop that I have um, in the regular size. And I like it because the head comes off so we can throw that in the wash. So. She'll like clean up and whatnot next to me. Um, this doesn't really need to be in here. It's just where I store it. But that's her Ollie Ella luggy, and she loves that. It also just kind of looks cute there, doesn't it? Um, up on top here, let me just step back a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. So that's just a little dressing unit. Not dressing unit. What would you call that? It's like a unit to hold your cups and plates and stuff, I suppose. It's, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> anyway, she's got this and up here, she's got her little toy tea set. Normally she's got her little, um, she has like an actual uh, stoneware, porcelain, whatever you would call it, mugs that she drinks out of, but they're currently dirty, so they're not there. But basically her toy set she uses all the time. So this is what she tends to use if she's pretending to wash up um, but she also really drinks from them, so sometimes she'll just get some water from, this, from the tap to um, drink. And then she has, like I said, access to her real mugs, but she's used them this morning, so they're currently in the, um, the big sink, actually. Or regular sink is what I mean. <laughs> um, 
Here she's got a bowl of fruit that she's got access to whenever she wants to eat it. So she's got some ripe bananas, some unripe bananas, avocados. These she doesn't actually um, open herself or cut herself. She doesn't really, it's not that she doesn't know how, but she's never even bothered to ask how to open them or cared to ask. She'll just ask me to open them for her um, or prepare it for her. She's got nectarines, oranges, and apples. Um, and then she's got a little tiny cutting board here. It's cute. It's like just a little teeny tiny cutting board if she wants to do any cutting. And then in this drawer, this is the knife that she uses. It's by the brand Akamura. It is amazing. It cuts through a lot more than you'd think it would. So like she can cut bananas with this easily. Bananas aren't hard to cut, are they? Um, nectarines, definitely. Apples, you can cut a whole apple with this thing, but it needs quite a lot of force. Hold on one second. What, Riley? All right, I'm back. So I was saying that you can actually cut um, some harder to cut things with this. It just requires more force. So for example, you can cut an entire apple with it. Um, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna cut it right now, but um, it does cut through that. Like I can cut through that easily. Um, it's too much force for Riley though. So generally if she wanted to cut an apple up, I would like pre-cut it for her and then she can just cut the wedges into smaller pieces. Plus like then it can sit flat for her so it's a bit more stable and safe. But anyway, she's got her little knife um, and it's nice because obviously it's a knife but there's no sharp edges so she can't actually hurt herself. Um, I wouldn't want her to have access to sharp knives all day. So um, I will let her use sharp knives if I'm supervising and literally right over her shoulder. But um, this is what she can use all day, every day. And I have no qualms about that. Um, she's got her silverware, um, which by the way, this is my favorite brand of silverware for her. Well, it's plastic. It's by the brand does it say on there anywhere i don't think so but it's by the brand replay it's actually the same brand as like most of her cups and plates that we use but it's um it's recycled so it's made out of plastic milk jugs but um that's not why it's my favorite it's my favorite because the scoop of the spoon is like the perfect size so like if she's having something like cereal it holds a decent amount of milk with the cereal and it actually holds it in there it doesn't like spill out all over the place these are like little things that are really important to moms because I'm sure if you're a mom, you know that you've bought and tried a thousand different types of spoons, a thousand different types of toddler cups. There's just certain things that you get lots of throughout your child's years of growing. And these ones she's had for over a year now. Um, and I love them. Like I can see her using these basically until she just wants to use regular forks and spoons. I mean, there's no reason she can't use regular forks and spoons, but these are just better sized for her mouth. And then an actual teaspoon doesn't hold the milk in very well. It tends to like spill out all over the sides. So that's just a bit better for her. Um, she's also got, she normally has more straws in here, but I guess those are all at the big sink as well. Um, yeah, she's got some little snack bags. If she wants to decant some snacks from a bigger bag, she'll use these. Um, and she's got some bibs, because even though she's nearly four years old, she still likes to wear bibs. She likes to wear them, I don't force it, um, with certain foods that are messy. And she knows if she's gonna eat something that requires a bib. So most of the time she doesn't wear a bib, but like there's little things like spaghetti or something, she'll grab herself a bib. Um, and then lastly, down here, she's got her snacks. and. In our house, she has access to snacks all day. Snacks are just food. They're not good or bad. They're not served as a reward. Food is food in our house. Um, and that works for us. So for Riley, she doesn't gorge on these all days having access to them. Um, some days she doesn't go in this cabinet at all. Some days she might go in there twice but honestly, probably on average, she has maybe one snack a day from there. But like I said, she often doesn't go in here at all. So um, these are her favorite snacks, if anybody's wondering. She's got these. These are meant for babies. 
<laughs> like this says from 10 months, but Riley eats this as like cereal with milk. I've tried her with regular Cheerios. She won't eat them. I've tried every other option or make of Cheerio like foods and these are what she likes. So we still buy them for her. Um, this is funny because if you follow me, then you know that we're vegan family, but these are beefy flavored crisps. But actually you'll see on the back if it will, see if I can get it to focus. Really focusing guys, there you go. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans. There you go. So that's kind of random that they're beefy crisps, but they're vegan. Um, she eats seaweed. Um, these are like crispy, thin pieces of seaweed that she eats with rice. You've come in here to play with me, Riley. So she eats these often actually with her dinner, so it's not really a snack. Um, down here, she's got veggie straws. And then, I don't even know what's in this last one. You're playing with your gup at the table? Aw. And she's got some palm bears. These she doesn't really eat. We've just kind of had them forever because she wanted to try gingerbread man. And she's not really that keen on them, so we've just had them. Um, and then she eats these all the time as well. These uh, raspberry and apple oat bars. So if you're wondering what my child likes to snack on, that's what she likes to snack on. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the noise in the background. Riley's just decided to um, come play in here. You wanna say hi, Riley? Hi! Are you playing with your gut? Yeah. Do you love the Octonauts? <laughs> She's got some messy hair right now. She's just got all these Octonauts toys this past week, um, which we sourced off of Facebook Marketplace. And um, she's in love. <laughs> you love them, don't you, Riley? <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.